All right, it's day 99 of this ginger germination experiment, and it's been doing really well ever since I moved it to the shade. I should remind you once again, if you're new to this, that ginger likes the shade, and it's well documented that it does, so if you have it in the sun for too long, it'll start dying. And that's evidence of how it was dying before from too much sun. So I don't know how much this thing is growing, you know, it seems pretty anemic in growth. It's a real slowpoke plant. That's totally true when they say it is. So we need to have some accountability and I'm going to measure all six of these plants. But you know, the surface of the soil here, the sand, you know, still seems kind of wet. And you know, I, th I think that means there should be enough water. Although the water tray is kind of running low again, and I think I'm going to top that off, but, you know, I still don't see anything erupting besides, you know, these six shoot systems, so, I don't know. Are we ever going to get more growth? Um, you know, there are still two rhizome cuttings that haven't even germinated, so we have activity from four of the rhizome cuttings, and I'm kind of disappointed that you know, I had six rhizome cuttings and many buds, you know, maybe 10 or more, and this is all we get. So maybe that's how it works, you know. If these rhizome cuttings can't make their buds uh, germinate and thrive within the first few weeks, then nothing will ever happen. Okay, so you can see stuff swirling around in there. There's still some water, but I'm going to need to water this thing again. And knocked over my watering apparatus. It's just kind of hard to do all this while I'm talking and trying to hold the camera steady at the same time. Okay, so it's completely topped off now. And you know, I think I'll water again from the top. Um, Seems to be really tough to overwater these plants since they are sort of South Asian in origin. Probably used to very, very high humidity and heat all the time. So as I've discussed before, the soil dries out more where there's a little bit more sun. But you know, overall I would say most of this stuff sits in the sh shade now anyway, so evaporation is very slow. But you know, I just want to try to get those other uh, dormant rhizome cuttings with their buds to germinate. And if it doesn't work again, you know, um, I might stop this. Although another problem is these shorter ginger plants just might not have roots that go deep enough in this pot to get the water they need from the very bottom. So that's another problem. So by doing this, I kind of ensure they're going to have enough water. Okay, so that's tons of water. That's enough. So I should have done this earlier. Just set it up with a tripod so I wouldn't have spilled that extra water. But here goes. I'm going to measure all six of these plants. So this small plant down here. know seven and a half inches. This plant from the same rise I'm cutting right next to it. Say about fourteen and a half inches. Sorry to have to use the British Imperial system to measure these. Uh, this plant right here is about a foot long. Um, basically one inch equals two point five four centimeters, although I'm sure most of my viewers are American. So it's not really that big of a deal, but if you are an international viewer, that helps you know what's going on. Um, you know, this one's about 18 inches. Yeah, this one's about 21 inches. And 
this one's 26 inches. So we need some kind of mathematical accountability to see if these things are actually growing. Because I know the leaves have turned a very lush, dark green, and everything looks a lot healthier now. But if this thing isn't growing, if none of these plants are really growing, then you know that's not really meaningful either. It just means conditions are good enough to keep these plants in stasis, but not enough for them to thrive. Because it's you know peak growing season. It's early summer, it's June 2013, so you basically need these plants to grow and photosynthesize and preserve, you know, a lot of energy in their roots and form rhizomes when winter comes. So we can have ginger. <laughs>